Hey guys, now I'm gonna show you how to work with models that need multiple materials to work properly. So I'm still on Zoe here, and as you probably know, some of those parts d don't always appear. Like for example, her yo-yo and the jumping rope belongs to her walking animations, bat belongs to her Q animation, and the ice cream is her joker taunt, one of those. And also the hair actually has a different material. So now I'm gonna show you how to to work with that. So first of all you wanna open Booksy because it's the easiest way to find out what mat or how the materials names are. If there's only one material it doesn't matter, but if there are multiple it does. So first of all you wanna open the original skin and then you can see all of those names. Then you just want to copy those. They usually make sense so you know which one to apply where. For example, this Zoe base mat would be her whole body. So you just want to apply, first of all, one material. I already have that. And then I'm just going to rename it. It's easiest to just start with the biggest, or with the material that takes up most of the space. Because they can't o overlap each other. And then you will have to redo it basically because you can't tell it apart anymore. So the next one is the base hair mat. So you want to go into face selection and just select everything for the new material, which would be all of her hair. Okay, except we went to the horn. Okay, then you're gonna apply a new material. I get a hyper shade and then rename it. You have to always 100% match the material names, otherwise you can run into problems and it, they won't work. So the next one is the jump rope. Racket, which is in her case baseball bat. Track material. Then we have the yo yo, which has two parts. And lastly we have the ice cream. Ice cream mat. I don't know if actually capitalization matters, but I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> so if you did it right the base material should only be her body and face. So yeah, it seems like we did right. Then you just want to export it. Then you can try it out in-game. It's actually common to run into a problem. Or at least I keep running into it and apparently it seems to be a bug with the plugin so you can make the right file translator. So I'm just gonna see if it works. I already have a fixed version so I can tell you how to fix it, but I'm just gonna see if it works. Still the arrow. Good. So you're just gonna press on no and then here's the fix. Go back into your Maya, select everything, export all, and then you'll need to 
uh, you need to put FBX export. Then just export it to somewhere. Then you go to actually I'm gonna save that all to my binary work in progress file again. Then you will need to make a new scene. You just you just want to import your FBX file. Then just export it again to SKN. Now let's see if it actually works without having to completely reload leak. Yeah, and now for whatever reason everything works fine. I have no idea why. Nobody else has an idea why basically, it's just that the program or the plugin is rather buggy and it just happens. So yeah, if your skin crashes the game and you made some materials and you're 100% sure that the names match, that the amount matches and everything, then just try it that way. Also another nice trick when you have materials that you don't want to use, like for example I don't want to use the hair separately, but make it just so like uh, that is attached to the body. The easiest way is to just create a cube, which is now here. You can make it bigger so you see it. Then you just want to keep it that way and then apply the material, name it in this case then after the hair and yeah just apply the appearance normally and before we export it you want to hide it in the best shape possible so you want to apply to the weights of the head that's the easiest I figured out or just area where it's 100% white like so just the head area here then you want to scale it down so it's like n barely there and then just hide it inside the head so it doesn't show up and since it's weighted to the head it's not gonna jump anywhere if removed or anything and you can just have all the materials work properly even though you don't even use all of them so yeah that's my tutorial on materials and i hope this will help you see ya